Hello everybody, today we'll be going over some defensive tactics when it comes to the game mode of interrogation. In this particular game, halfway through we lose a team member and so are forced to just constantly defend having only three players on the side. So this is a video to help any person who decides they will be on the defense for their team during the game of interrogation. And in particular, some things to keep in mind while you are playing the defense. Firstly, at the start of the game when interrogations are at a premium, if you go down, try to stay within the sight line of your teammate so they can and throughout the interrogation if needed. Here I spawn in and my teammate is in trouble and the other teammate is way down the map. Go into listen mode. Let's see three enemies. That's one down. Using the mini map to keep track of where they are as well. Yeah that'll teach you And that's how we solve that problem. Yeah. Now that all the charging enemies have been taken care of, except for the one who's repelling our attack, it's a good time to go and pick up supplies to set up defenses. Again, I've died and I spawn in. And it's important not to sprint out of spawn because as soon as you sprint, people look at the mini map and know where you are. And if I had sprinted, that guy wouldn't have gone into his bag right there. Again, looking at the mini map, I killed that guy because I knew the second guy was there and I didn't want any chance of reviving or any of that sort of shenanigans. In between each wave of attack, it's a good opportunity to set up defenses as well as going to supply boxes. Give me a sec. And if you can, good reset to, to a defensive position again. But as All you done. can Let's see, uh, on the mini map, they're already coming in again for another attack, so it's not always possible to reset. Fuckers down! So I downed one outside. Oh, downed one there. That one's dead. Should be a fourth one somewhere else. If you're out of bullets, don't be afraid to throw Molotovs. Here I am out of bullets and health. I should have just bought armor and bullets for my main weapon. I have plenty of parts, I don't know why I didn't. Don't be afraid to purchase bullets if you can't get to a supply box. In these situations, I put a premium on not giving my position away, but in this scenario, I make the wrong move. I thought I could perhaps throw a bomb over the defensive bomb without setting it off, but instead it just results in my downfall. My two teammates are already dead and they spawn in before me and sprint off to attack. I would not recommend this, because unless you stop the enemy from opening your box, you simply lose, because we are behind. There's no point everybody running off to attack. And there's no defenders back there, they just keep going down on defensive bombs. I managed to make it back and interrupt the unlocking. Simply because the unlocker was not protected. 
and I disrupt long enough for the two teammates who somehow made it past those bombs eventually to open the box. Here is another game where as you can see there's a lot of time left and they already have two-thirds of our box open and a numerical advantage of three to two for some reason when they have us all killed they this weird thing of reviving and healing each other instead of opening the box completely one down if you open the box before eight minutes is left you get a bonus like six thousand parts or something like this. Again, I'm down, but I'm quickly back in the game because of strategist. I find it very helpful if you're on defense, particularly if you have less numbers, to keep yourself in the game longer and give yourself a better chance of being able to help out on defense. Draw some smoke. My teammate has a good side on position for defense. I'm down. My teammate has a really good position side on where they can see the box. I traverse around the back to get a different angle and make the enemy mix up where they fire so they can't just concentrate on their fire in one direction. My teammate dies and I'm the only one left and although we need interrogations it's best to hold out under pressure and just avoid giving the game away by chasing interrogations. Now that my teammate is alive, it's not so bad that I die and they take up their good position side onto the box again and we repeat the process again. Because I killed the one guy earlier, he was forced to spawn down in a different area and this is how I can't see! I tried to secret him but just picked up a mech. Got it. But that led to the interrogation eventually being made. Yeah, I should, probably should have healed when I had the chance. But I pursue and fail. And they are able to revive and heal. There's still the one guy that has to come from the back again. Again, they're very slow to get onto the box, and by now they should have just opened it at some point or another. But I ain't complaining. This is a defense video, and this is giving us a lot of chance to repel them from our box. Again, now that all three are dead, this is a good chance to go and get supplies and just reset again. That's one. So I managed to go get supplies, but my teammate didn't. So I'll take well over the defensive go. position and allow them to go down and get supplies. It's always important to reset to the defensive position in between waves. Also mix it up, but I can make a whole nother video about where you should sit to defend the box. A teammate is dealing with two down by the supply box and there's one running around behind me. Again, if you don't want people to know where you are, don't run. Manage to kill the three and decide and communicate with my teammate. I will attack. I will go down and let them get past me because although you want to be strong on defense you still play the game to win so if you can even though you're under pressure time your run uh, you're better off 
letting people pass you and communicate with your teammate where the people are, where they're going to be, and hope that they can hold them off. Which is what I've done here. I quickly check that they're all alive past me because although I've seen two sprint past me, I didn't see a third. And you can use the scoreboard to check who's alive and who's dead. They're all alive. I expect someone to pop out on defense. But it doesn't happen. It turns out all three of them have sprinted past me. They get on the box. My teammate repels them. We take the lead. And that's that.